So, hello everybody, this is now the second part of developing with Clap and in the first part I talk quite a lot about licensing, especially open source licensing and how important it is for using such an audio plugin interface. So if you did not watch that episode, absolutely turn back first and watch also this episode. Furthermore, I talked about frameworks which are already available for Clap as well as the tools you need, which is basically CMake and then I also showed how to install and run CMake on the different systems, Windows, Mac, as well as Linux. So in this episode, we want to build our first plugin and run it also on three different systems, which is not as easy as I expected. It worked fine on two systems, but it was a little bit difficult on Linux, but more about that later. And I totally suggest to watch all three parts, so Linux, Windows, as well as the Mac part, because Clap should be supported also on these three OSs. So let's dive right in. Let's start with Windows and I want not to use a totally trivial plugin. There is the already quite advanced example little synth of Paul Walker, which is known as Bacon Paul here on GitHub. And you can find this on this GitHub page. And he also has a nice tutorial about how to build that. To get the data from GitHub, you need Git. You can use that for the command line or here on Windows. I normally prefer to use Turtles Git, which integrates nicely into to the Windows Explorer and you don't have to deal with the command line. But I will show here the command line because it works the same on all three systems. And first we create a new folder to put it in. For the sake of example, I just put it here on a desktop. I just call it clap dev test. And then we need to enter that folder. And then we can execute here the git command to clone the repository. And this will check out all the necessary files into this folder. So you see here the clap saw demo plugin, the clap demo plugin from Paul. One thing to mention is that we also have dependencies. So clap is integrated as a git module. So this is defined in this dot git modules file. And if we take a look at that one, we will see that it contains four references to submodules, the clap, so the clap interface module, also reader writer queue, which is uh, which is used by the plugin as well as the clap helpers. And this plugin also shows how to use VST GUI with clap. So many VST2 plugins use VST GUI. And Paul did this in his example to show all the people who like to convert VST plugins how you could also integrate VST. GUI into this plugin. To get the submodules, you need to execute the next command, which will also retrieve all the four submodules from GitHub. Yeah, we need to go one up and issue it again. So it clones now as well the four submodules. So we have everything ready here on the system. So you see here also the four submodules were checked out and Paul chose to have a subdirectory called ignore as the output for the build. So let's create this as well. For CMake, you always need to run two phases. First one does some configurations and the second one does the actual build. So if you build multiple times, you only need to run the configuration once. We want to build debug, not release. So let's change it here in this little line, replace the release with debug. We can also try to use the debugger with it later on. So the configuration is happening and then then we can run also the, the real build. I also add the option to build the debug because on default, I think it builds the release, but we want to have the debug as well. Finally, the build is happening and we end up with our clap file. So we did build our first clap plugin. So let's look here in the debug folder and here it is. Here is our clap file. And the last thing we need to do is to copy it here on Windows into the clap directory. So this can be found under your C and then in program files. And there is a common files folder. And in common files, you can put it in the clap directory there. And you need super user access rights to copy that. Let's 
try that out in Bitwig and in Bitwig let's open the browser for plugins and here on the left there is also clap now and we have yay here it is clap saw demo synth it's found and here is a little quite impressive little synth which has a user interface you can also yeah, interact with it it has also vca a little filter as well as a little attack and release envelope so quite nice thing to look into and get it going and there's also you can switch it off switch it on it's also working and let's create also some notes and let's start that clip and Paul also put a nice animation in it if when something is happening and it's generating sound. So this is working nicely already on Windows. So let's try the second one and switch over to macOS. Also on macOS, let's create a folder here on a desktop just for a demonstration. And let's also call it clap dev test. So the same thing as we did on Windows. We also need here a terminal and as well here in a terminal let's issue here the command to clone the directory so there we also did retrieve the directory then let's enter the directory and as well execute the command to get all the submodules and they are also cloned and let's create the ignore command And finally, let's also execute the build to create our club file. But meanwhile, I learned that also Paul integrated something in the CMake file that you can automatically copy the file, so we do not need to copy that manually. And that's here the property copy after build. You need to set this to true. And in CMake, you do this with this minus D command. And then you also need to add the type. So this is a Boolean property. And then you can set this to true. And then you need to rerun with that property the configuration phase. And then you you can also rerun the build and at the end of the build it will then automatically copy the clap library to the correct path on the operating system and here on macOS in your user directory under library audio and plugins and then finally clap so you don't need to look up that folder and it's automatically copied for you. So let's also check that out and start Bitwig. Yeah, and in between also go to a track, open the browser and here we have it as well. And it looks pretty identical then on Windows and also this is working nicely. Now on to Linux, which I thought would be as easy as on the other two operating systems. So I created here a test folder. So that worked nicely. Let's also enter here. The right here first let's enter the directory then let's execute to retrieve submodules as well and let's create directory and let's issue the configuration but to debug and this is where the fun begins <laughs> Now I went to all the hassle with missing libraries. So on Linux, you need to install several libraries which are required for the build and especially installation of free type was a bit of a hassle and stack overflow to the rescue. I could find how to build the free type library. So you need to download the source code on pack it and then run several commands to have the free type library compiled. So you can see that here what to execute and then you need to run make and make install which is the old build mechanism for Unix systems. 
So and finally back to looking at all the other missing libraries we need to install, which is quite a bunch. So XCB needs to install as well. And you can look up all the required libraries here in the cmakelist.txt file where you see we need a bunch of XCB files, glib, Cairo, as well as Pango and font config needs all to be installed. And this took me quite a while to figure that out. I will not bore you with all that installation I did. If you build on Linux, you need to do that as well. But finally, the build was working and all the libraries were present and it nicely ran through. So, but then I wanted to test it in Bitwig and then a disappointment was happening because if I wanted now here to open the browser and add the clap plugin, there was no clap plugin available. I checked out the Bitwig log file, bitwigstudio.log, if you're looking for that as well, with a very weird error. So the clap scanner says it could not parse the metadata because, and now it's getting weird, Chile C2.34 is missing. And actually on my system, I have the latest 2.35, which is newer. So this should not be an issue at all. But somehow this is an issue with Bitwig. I, I'm assuming I wasted several days on that and could not solve it. And it turned out it works totally nicely in Kutractor and another clap host, which I should not name yet. But so I suggest that somehow there is an issue with Bitwig and so far I could not get an answer to how to fix that. But nevertheless, this gives me the opportunity to show another tool by Paul Walker, which simply dumps the metadata of a plugin. And my suspicion was if the Bitwig clap scanner cannot scan it, there must be something wrong with the metadata maybe. So I built this tool of Paul as well, and this works pretty simple. You just run the tool and then you give as a parameter the clap file. You can also output the help of it and you see all the options it supports. And we just want to dump everything to the console. So it gives you quite a bunch of information, all the metadata descriptors, which extensions are supported more to that about about that later what extensions are but the one thing that caught my eye is that the clip version was 102 and Bitwig is using 111 by now so my suspicion was that this might be an issue so the thing I tried was to up Date. The clap version here used by the plugin. This is pretty easily done with a git command. You simply can update that to the latest version and then run the build again. So you have this git submodule update remote command to do that. And then you run the configuration again and run the build again. And then also I rerun pause tool to get the clap metadata info to ensure that it's really 111. And okay, so now the new build contains the new version, but sadly here the browser was still empty. And as I said, it works in two other hosts I tried on the same system. So I'm my suspicion is that there is something wrong here with Bitwig. So here is in QTractor the proof that it works in QTractor and there it looks as on the other system. So I'm not really no, sure what's going on with that weird error. If someone has an idea, please tell me down in the commands. I already tried not to use the Flatpak version of Bitwig, which might be an issue, but also with a normal dependency pack for Ubuntu, it's not working. So yeah, I ran out of ideas, but nevertheless, it works in other hosts and it works also on other platforms. And phew, this cost me several days now to do this video, which I never expected. But I hope this saves you some time in getting started with Clap. And until next time, write some funky code.